ladies, how you going? I've got a pretty cool video for you today. It's based on visual triggers um, that can lead to excess eating, binge eating, getting pretty much inconsistent off track towards your body transformation goals, especially in this challenge phase when you're on the way towards that honeymoon period where you're, you're, you're going from either a significant weight loss um, to that honeymoon period where we're maintaining and trying to build more muscle or you're literally trying to gain as much more weight as possible and then you hit that honeymoon period. So very quick, diving right into it. First and foremost though, um, new format. I'm gonna do video uh, vertically from here on out, pretty much, uh, especially for Facebook content, just so it's easier for you to, for you to view, um, especially on the phone. And I've reduced the size of the video. So instead of it, they're no longer to be one or two gigs in size, they're gonna be just a couple of hundred megabytes. So I've changed a few settings in the video streaming uh, service. So yeah, excited. It's gonna be a, a better experience for you going forward. Um, okay, starting off, there's this unbelievable phenomenon uh, with smokers. Um, and it's probably like one of the most powerful triggers, especially if you are a smoker, if you, if you used to smoke, uh, if you currently smoke, I'm talking about cigarettes as well, uh, and vaping. Vaping is just taking hold of uh, teenagers um, and people in their 20s. It's, it's unbelievable this next level in Australia is literally just, I guess, banned them. Um, but there's this crazy phenomenon where <laughs> smokers, I shouldn't laugh, it's, it's actually really tragic, um, but it's just, I guess, this crazy catch-22 where you, some people actually smoke so much that they go blind. Um, but then there's other category of smokers where they'll smoke and then through other circumstances, maybe through aging or glaucoma or whatever the, the hereditary or environmental uh, stimulus, it causes them to go blind. Um, and the, the biggest phenomenon when it comes to smokers is that a lot of smokers, actually, let me get the picture up. A lot of smokers will actually stop smoking as much, literally because they don't get that visual cue of a cigarette. Um, they might get the smell, but without the smell, um, usually it's the visual cue, maybe a pen in the mouth, straw in the mouth, having something to drink, being a little bit stressed, and then seeing other people smoke, their friends, their social group, talking about smoking. Uh, they work in an environment where they need to go outside to smoke, like that, their social group, their, their partners that they're attracted to, they all smoke. Like there's, there's this, ooh, it is pouring down rain as well here, by the way. So hopefully the, the microphone isn't picking that up. Um, the visual cues, we can't underestimate how much visual cues are actually causing us to take the actions. So it's usually it's the visual stimulus that causes the emotional response and the emotional response causes you to take an action. Take away the stimulus that's causing you to have this really, um, this crazy emotional dopamine, serotonin spiking desire and, and need and hunger to fulfill, whether it's food or, or drinking um, or drinking calories, whatever the vice. The whole idea about this video is to remind you to take away the visual cues. So I'm actually not a big proponent of removing every bit of junk food from the house. I'm a big pr proponent of replacing the junk food in the house with low calorie, high protein versions. So instead of having your, your packet of salt and vinegar crisps uh, and Lay's chips, we'll have salt and vinegar um, popcorn. So popcorn that you can actually put literal vinegar and salt in. Um, but the idea is that we don't want to be triggered by that seeing the popcorn there, that you always want to have popcorn. You understand what I'm saying? So let me get this picture up. Um, so yeah, the, 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 the great phenomenon is that once smokers actually, uh, not all obviously, but a lot of smokers, once they actually lose their eyesight and they don't get visual, that visual cue anymore, actually they actually give up smoking. Um, with yourself, so this is the, the visual cues that you're probably coming across at the moment, are literally social media. Now, let me take this down. You are exposed every single day to approximately, it's, it's guesstimated that it's about eight to 10,000 ads every single day, whether it's you consciously see them or it's an unconscious level, whether it's in a magazine, you're trans, um, like you're going from one location to another, social media, on the TV, watching the tennis, in between ads, um, your 
partner's phones, like your partner's, what they're talking about, your family. Um, literally th like throughout just ad placements in movies and uh, like subtle cues. It's literally every single day about 10,000 ads that you're exposed to. And it's fucking blows my mind, 10,000. Um, 10,000 visual cues and stimuli. And if you think about like the, the most, the biggest things that we consume and and buy and spend our money on are typically like to do with the home, to do with like other family and to do with food. Food is such a big um, circular com economy that majority of the ads that you're probably gonna be exposed to have to do with food um, and beauty. And I'll keep, I'll keep the video PG. The stimulus that you're probably coming up against um, are these are the following. So you've, you've got social media, you've got TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, they're the big ones, um, and YouTube. And then you've got your partner or significant other who probably doesn't live a healthy lifestyle themselves. They're probably not, they're probably not on the same journey as you in terms of wanting to have this, this body transformation. Um, especially, I know a lot of blokes, like it'll, it'll take them maybe 10 to 15 years of eating like crap and to have one one terrible photo or, or, or one terrible experience or, or not being able to kick the footy with their kids when they're 12. Like it'll take literally decades for blokes to finally pull the trigger and, and say enough's enough, I, I need to look after my health. Whereas um, women, you're a lot more health conscious. Um, it's a lot more important to you and I guess that's why I really love working with women because health is so important to me, so important to you. I guess that's, that's probably something I haven't talked about um, so much why I love working with women is because I have so much more in common when it comes to health and fitness. Um, when it comes to other visual cues, uh, we've got like literally these pictures here. Obviously it's an exaggeration, but I think everyone kind of has, or they used to have like a candy, like a candy drawer. The bottom left corner, that's probably a, a more accurate example of what your pantry looks like. And I wonder if I can do, uh, make this bigger so you can see it. So a like, little bit of cups, there's some Tupperware, but you've got like a, a random packet of chips. Um, you've got a random packet of cookies. You probably, oh, what is this like a couple of teas and another packet of chips. Um, obviously this is an exaggeration, but let's just say if we go to your fridge right now, are we gonna see alcohol, are we gonna see like a little bit of chocolate? Are we gonna see ice cream that you don't eat, but it's always a temptation? Um, let me reduce the size of this. So these visual triggers, I just wanna to bring to your forefront. These are these are gonna be your, your biggest challenges going forward. Social media, um, your environment in terms of social circle and your home front. So unless you put your foot down and you like almost demand the partner or, or your family or your, your closest friends and families to, to stop, um, to, to help you accomplish your goals rather than, um, I'll, I'll create another video about this um, actually, um, like the power of your environment and your social circle, because it, it can, that, that fear of missing out, if, you're, if your friends and family aren't helping you accomplish your, your health and fitness goals, then they're most certainly hindering it, whether they, consciously believe it or not. Um, and it's up to you to be able to communicate how important it is to you to accomplish your goals. Because your goals aren't particularly, like that body transformation, that's one element of the goal. But the other elements of your goals is self-confidence, healthy body, healthier family in the future. Um, there's a lot of like mental well-being to having a, a body confidence and having a healthy diet and lifestyle. So having your friends and family on board when it comes to your health and fitness goals is more than just a, a body transformation. And they don't understand that. Um, and they'll be less inclined to open up a chocolate bar or, or go, look, no, we're having pizza tonight. I'm sick of having roasted veggies. Uh, well, okay, what would you rather like uh, me to have a relapse this early on in my weight loss journey um, that's only meant to last several months it's literally just a several month challenge to build up those habits so when we stop doing one-on-one -on -one coaching you have that to go forward um, we need to get your partners on board i'm going to do that in another video um, 
Awesome. So the, the things that we can control, um, I'll say is the people that we're following on social media. So what, no doubt, many, 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 many um, women actually follow a ton of like um, recipe um, groups. That's, that's the thing, like majority of the recipe groups, they, they sh showing recipes of these absolutely tasty looking treats that are extremely high in calories, extremely unhealthy, very much baked goods focused. And that's something that you don't need to be constantly exposed to when you're doing a weight loss challenge or a weight gain challenge. And when trying to focus, when, when you have these cravings and for some reason on one day, they're just not being, um, you're just not crushing your cravings like you could. And then you get this trigger of this amazing homemade deep dish pizza or all these homemade donuts that are just slathered with Nutella and, and butter. What I recommend while you're in the challenge, while you're doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, is to unfollow. You can always go back and follow them again, but you can always like unfollow but stay friends or unfollow and stay in a group. Um, it's not you leaving the group. And if you want, you can even write them down or, or save them as your favorites in, in the browser for, for when you finish the challenge, for when you finish the one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can always go back to um, following these, these social media people that you always look at. So. I'm talking about health and fitness people who are always just, not even health and fitness, like um, mummy cooking, Facebook pages, anything that's like really overly stimulating and makes you hungry and crave and want to eat food. For the next couple of months, literally, whenever you see it, just go right click the three dots in the corner. Um, stop seeing um, th this post as much or unfollow or um, stay friends, but don't see the posts. That's number one. Um, and do that for Instagram and Facebook, believe me. Like Otherwise, you just don't need that extra pressure. It's just mental willpower, just getting drained from you straight away. Um, the candy box, what, um, and I guess what I'll do with the, the candy box, a really great one is to A, replace all the candies with the substitutes all the chocolate bars with protein chocolate bars, all the packets of chips with popcorn. Literally, if, if you've got packets of M&Ms or whatever the hell in your kitchen, during this challenge, I'm gonna challenge you just to replace them for the time being, throw them out or give them to a friend and then replace them. It's not, you're not gonna miss out. I literally, this is the challenge. This is you putting on your big pants and rising up to the challenge of becoming healthier for your friends, family, self-confidence, mental well-being. Um, beautiful. The bottom left, so the pantry. The best thing you can do, and I'm going to show an example here coming up. Uh, I might even just go straight into the example. Uh, and this, is, this goes for the fridge as well, if you've got a ton of stuff in the fridge. Scroll up. So see this bad in a bag picture bigger for you the bad in a bag this is my pantry right now and in this bag I literally have packets of um, packets of chips and protein bars and because I've moved to town but food isn't so readily available in like the actual shops where I've moved um, they all, they, hold on they all close at 7.30 p.m. So I can't, like if I get cravings late at night, I can't just go to Coles and pick up a, a craving crushing food anymore. I have to keep all the food in my house. Um, and then I've, I've noticed late at night I get these cravings. And so what I've gone and done is a, it's a technique that I used to do. Um, it's literally getting rid of the visual stimulus of having, of having bread on the table, like just out in the open, um, having my, Nutella spreads out in the open when I open the pantry. I don't need these visual cues um, to like increase my salivary glands and then have this dopamine running response. Is it oxytocin? There's this response that keeps building and building and building and building. And your body has this crazy mechanism where once it's stimulated by food, I hope, I hope you've watched this far into the video, um, it has this crazy mechanism where it will purposely lower the blood sugar content in your 
in your blood, the glucose sugar content in your blood to, to make you feel like you need more glucose in your blood. It'll literally lower that on purpose to cause you to have excess cravings. Your body is literally trying to get you to store more fat because for thousands and thousands of years, that's been the survival mechanism when food is scarce. It wants you to put on fat. Your body doesn't want you to not be as overweight as you want. Like the, it, it kind of wants you to be just in case of a rainy day, like get these calories in. So what I'll get you to do, your, your Nutellas, your breads, all the, the crappy food. Like if we look at the, the rest of this picture, I've got like four cans of tuna, a bag of onions. I think this might be, I think that might be, uh, I might, not sure, is that potatoes or bread? I'm not too sure. But literally everything else in my pantry, like I've actually got another side of the pantry on the left-hand side, which is just full of like salt and baked items that I use in my protein oats. Um, anything that you crave and you, you kind of have, you overindulge, put it in a bag that you can't see very well. Like this is higher than my eyesight and put it to the side. You'll literally remove the visual craving, the visual stimulus, which will stop the body from responding and you'll, you'll be less inclined to crave more foods. Um, some other solutions I've got written down here is obviously the, the substitutes, as I mentioned. So instead of the, the, the Angus uh, Hungry Jack's Whopper, we'll do the homemade grilled chicken burger. Um, instead of the McDonald's fries, um, we'll have the, the homemade roast potato fries. Instead of the Snickers bar, we'll have a protein bar. Um, and that's it. I just want to remind you that we're not going for 100% not junk. The, the good thing is to have junk substitutes and then bump up your fruit and veg. So when you do succumb to these cravings, I don't want you to like, go, oh, I don't want you to be so out of control that you just eat three packets of chips and, a, and half a chocolate uh, half a block of chocolate bars and then drink a, a, a huge thing of juice and then all of a sudden we've, we've eaten in excess 800 calories for the day. You're allowed to have these, you're allowed to succumb to your junk cravings every, every now and then, um, especially when you're out socializing. But what I recommend is just to always, ha like if you're having a chocolate bar, have a ton of fruit and veggies with it. Um, like have a bite, have a thing of fruit, and then have the other half of the, the chocolate bar. Your body literally needs 20 minutes for the, the stomach to tell the brain that it's full uh, and satisfied. And the, the, the more spread out that you have junk food in between fruits and veggies that are high in fiber, uh, the more your brain kind of thinks it's been eating a junk food for like 30 to 40 minutes rather than like inhaling it within 60 seconds, like chop it up, eat it strategically in stages amongst other food items. Um, like a good tactic here is instead of having an entire huge bowl of pasta, have half the bowl of pasta, pasta and then a huge thing of salad or a huge thing of veggies. And you go in between that meal for the entire dinner and by the end of the dinner, when you're licking the plate of the pasta, your brain thinks it's had 30 or 40 minutes of eating pasta. Um, nice. And this is the last one. This is what I wanted to really bring up. It's like the, the meaningful, powerful goals and the accountability. So what I highly, 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 highly recommend is if you haven't done so already, the, your meaningful, powerful goals, if you have not written them out, and I've got the links into the right-hand side column of the members area, that, that fill in the blank. It's literally a fill in the blank. It's different to what we did in prep week. It's the be, do, have exercise step two. Fill in the blank, copy and paste it into your notes on your phone. Take a screenshot and make it the background screenshot, the background wallpaper of your phone. Every day you can literally see, yes, I'm after this as a body weight goal, but my reasons for doing it and for the consequences of not accomplishing it far outweigh like the 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 general goal of having a body transformation it's it's for my kids it's for my future dating life it's for um my career and independence and confidence uh 
Um, it's for me leading by example and influencing others. It's for me feeling like I've accomplished something in my life. It's for my mental health. Like if I don't do it, like the opposite consequences of all your goals. Like having that, reading that every day, like when you go to, when you go to open the Uber Eats app or when you go to do a takeaway order and you see that goal, that, that visual trigger can stimulate you to stop that domino effect of being in a, a subconscious trance of being in a, the middle of a, a craving, quenching session that's about to occur. So you look at your phone literally hundreds of times a day, having that on the background of, it doesn't have to be like the background of the um, the lock screen, it can be the background of the, the home screen after you've locked, put in your, your, your uh, fingerprint or your password, then you can see that so it's a bit more private. I highly recommend you doing that. Now for me, thanks so much for watching the video. I've got a lot of videos coming out uh, in the next couple of days, so stay tuned. All right, let me know if you have any other tricks and hacks that use that stop you from hitting your cravings, uh, that's succumbing to your cravings in a bad way. Um, I always recommend like shooting me a DM. Jack, I really am craving this kind of food. How can I integrate it? It's it, like tomorrow. How can I start quenching this craving? Um, Another one, I think Mel actually mentioned it a couple of times, is like having a, a printed out picture of like um, a clothing item that they really want to have in the, the ne near future, like your, your ideal perfect um, like shoes or dress, probably I'd say dress or pants um, um, or outfit that you want to fit into. Maybe it's a couple of sizes less than what you are. And then putting that picture in like the, the, the naughty cupboard uh, so every time you go to open it, you're like, ah, oh, yep, that's right. This is what I'm doing it for. <laughs> it's enough to stop you some or some people. Or a picture of your kids, um, picture of like a, your ideal dating life coming up or your, your picture of your, your the, the amount of money that you want to earn, the, the career that you want to have, the life that you want to be living in, in a couple of years time. Like what, like what's worth it? Like a Tim Tam or all these other deep and meaningful things that we forget about when we're in that, dopamine running state of wanting to eat food nice thanks so much for watching and uh talking a bit uh.